this is Mechanic Love Classics with another video. This is my buddy Monster and our money. And today we're gonna be taking the wheel hubs off of my 2000 Mustang. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So what you're gonna need is a ratchet, an extension, a size 15 socket, deep or normal work, a 15 wrench, a 15 millimeter wrench if you can get a hold of a, of a ratchet and a socket, a flathead, um, a breaker bar with a 36 inch or 36 millimeter um, socket. This is my breaker bar, but to get the cap off, you're gonna need um, the flathead and a hammer. But since I got a hammer right now, this is what I'm using. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna, with the flathead, hopefully it's a little bit better than this one. You're gonna try to wedge it in. There's a groove right here. You're gonna try to wedge it in and then tap it with the hammer to get the top off. Of course, that was a little bit easier than, than it should have been. I took it off pre, pre or premeditated, I guess you could say. And then to get everything else off, to even get the hub with this nut off, you're gonna need to take off the caliper with the brace. Now, you don't have to take off the caliper away from the brace. You can do the brace by itself and the whole rotor brake assembly will pop off on its own. So I'm gonna go right into that. So to take off this this cat this caliper rotor assembly, there's two bolts that you're gonna need that 15 for. There's one up top. I don't know if you can get in here with it. There's one up top where that where that finger is, and then you can see the other one is down below where this ratchet is. And you're gonna loosen those two until this whole thing is loose. Alright. So the caliper is gonna come off. As you can tell, there's that brace that the two bolts you're going to take off is. So set that to the side. The rotor pops off. And then this is where that big breaker with that 36 comes in. I've already loosened this one as well, so as you can tell, it's it's a little bit easier. Alright, so to get pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to work backwards. The same way you took it all apart is the same way it's going to go back together. So it's going to be the hub. It may give you a little a little trouble. And it slides right on. And then your nut. And then once you get the nut tight, you're gonna put the rotor back on. The brake caliper, you might have to de decompress the caliper a little bit to get the brake pads to fit back on. And then all that's left is the ribbon tire. Don't forget to tighten all your bolts. <laughs> 